Welcome back everybody. Okay, now that I've got the uh, brake pedal almost complete, I've still to add a little, uh, I'm going to do a sort of oval foot rest at the bottom. I can't really bring it any further out this way because I won't have any leg room and I can't bend that any further that way or it will hit the firewall, so that's where it has to go. So before I finish that off, I want to make a gas pedal and linkage. And I'm going to make it out of these handy everyday household objects well not quite so solid rod which I can bend to shape and it will do a sort of a from the pedal it will go up along and then out this way to bend like that okay then it will attach to this section of a hollow tubing now it doesn't need any lateral force, it's just push-pull, so it doesn't need to be super strong. But it's, uh, I think this is stainless steel, so it looks kind of nice. So I got these little guys from Princess Auto, about $4.50 each. Very nice. Um, threaded both ends, so that will go into the, uh, I'll show you in a sec. I'll show you now, actually. So this is a quarter inch by 28, okay, and that will go in there, okay, and then the uh, the tubing will go from this point here through the firewall and that will do, oh, hold on, may as well show you. So that will attach to this at some point, I need to cut it to size, and it will just, it will just pull on the uh, the uh, carburetor lever, okay. So, you see, one swivel joint at one end, one swivel joint at the, the other end that will attach to my custom made lever. Should be fine. I'm also going to use this, as I mentioned in my brake pedal video. This is from the elliptical machine again. And this uh, solid rod I have just happens to be exactly the right diameter. This is hard to do with one hand. Hold on. Where am I? Ah, here. Oh, sorry for the wonky video. So yeah, that slides in there nicely into the bushings. A wee bit of oil and that will spin nicely without squeaking. So I'll probably just cut this bracket off here and I should be able to just bolt this straight onto the firewall. I might have to cut these down a bit, it's, it's going to sit out a bit far. Yeah, that's the plan. Let's see how it works. Okay, step one done. So in order to attach this uh, bolt, I, basically I can't find any threaded rod for this, so I'm going to, I just had to buy these bolts. So beforehand, I had to attach this bolt into there somehow, so just chop the end off. I had to grind this down a little bit, it's a wee bit fat for the tube, and then cut a slot there, cut a slot there, slide it in, weld it up, and that's the result. Okay, doesn't need to be mega straight, although it, it is pretty straight, not perfect, but it'll do. So then you screw on your little, this is technically a lock nut, <laughs> I just welded it so it's still a wee bit uh, swollen, swollen, I don't know if that's the right word, and then this will go on here, I'll put it halfway for now so I've got adjustment both directions, lock it up with that, that goes into the carburetor lever and then this little guy will go on here to lock it in place. So that's the first part done. So pretty much I'll do the same on the other side but obviously I need to drill a hole in the firewall and then work out roughly where I want this lever to join up. So far so good. Unfortunately Kind of a bit late to make noise as usual. This damn work of mine gets in the way of my, my fun time. 
Okay, so I'll continue this tomorrow when I've got more time to uh, make noise. Catch you soon. Oh well, you'll catch me, you know, in the next day uh, transition. <laughs> It's a beautiful day. Let's continue. Right. I have this side plumbed in through the firewall. The hole's a wee bit tight for now. I need to work out how I'm going to make this uh, not scrapey. A bit of nylon, but some sort of elongated nylon ring. I'll look into that. So the next step is attaching it somehow to the inside. Now, my original plan was to have this lever coming up from the foot around here, through there, and then it would bend up here. But the way it's working out is this is going to sit right in the middle of where the um, the push rod for the carburetor is coming. So I might as well put the lever here, close that off with a little, maybe a washer, split pin, washer, whatever, just to stop that moving that way. Okay, so I'm going to get really technical now. This is my very scientific drawing. This is a lever coming up. Going along, and this will be the little lever that's going to get welded in place in the middle. I have to work out the length of this, and because I can't be bothered looking it up, I'll just figure it out with a cable tie. I'll put that around there tight, leave a bit that long, and then I'll take it under the car and then move it back and forward and then snip it to the right length, and then I'll know how long to make my little lever. That should work. Okay, here's where we're at. This will have a footrest type deal. That will be attached to this little thing I just drilled and cut out. So that'll be welded to there, I don't know exactly where yet. But obviously, when I press that, It'll pull that back and that will be attached to the carburetor and make it go. So I'm going to just drill a hole in there, drill a hole in there, bolt that to the firewall and then I'll be able to work out exactly where this has to get welded on. Still need to put a stopper here to stop it sliding that way and maybe a little washer or a bush at that side just to keep it nice and straight. Okay, almost there. About to uh, bolt this to the firewall. Okay, and I had to decide if I was going to bolt it through this way or through this way. If I bolted it through from the inside that way, then I would end up with a thread sticking out and that. So I'm using these uh, coach bolts, right? Because I've got a nice round end. So all I had to do was drill a hole about the right size and then use my handy square of file to make them square and uh, that means I don't have to I don't have to attach a, a wrench or a socket in the outside. Okay, let's see how it looks installed. We have a gas pedal. I had to uh, increase the size of this because as it turns the rod goes up and down a little bit so that's why that's that shape now I've still to add the little uh, spoon shaped pads at the bottom that needs to get shortened a little bit but uh, feels smooth works fine we're getting full uh, full range of the gas pedal very happy, very close to uh, firing it up and going for a drive. Although I still need to plumb in all the brakes. Okay, uh, yeah, so that's the brake pedal, gas pedal done. Thanks for watching. I suppose I should actually show it working, eh? So. And then you can see it up there. Very smooth. Okay, thanks for watching.